Hello, Internet. Got another project came in today. Uh, came in a box. Usually don't get projects in a box. They usually just come bar stock. But uh, seven degrees out, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's December 16th. Don't get me lying. Um, today's RJ day. I pick him up at six. Can't wait. We're going to the bull riding, I think, this weekend. Uh, let me flip you around and get you caught up what I've got to do today from the box. So what he wants me to do, you can see that one's, it, it tore out of there and it, it tore out of here. So this is the drive hub do hickey thing but this presses in here there's a, a snap ring on this side this assembly goes down through there so what he wants me to do is he wants me to mill off this surface flat to the inner of that snap ring level on both of them and then drill and tap five places around here 632 with these um, that's the guy if you ever want to get your car worked on. These uh, 632s right here. So, what I'll have to do is uh, put these on the mill. And don't mind me, it's seven degrees outside today. So, what I'm gonna do is I am going to That's what I'm gonna do. I already got it figured out. And bear with me. Got the sniffles. Probably gonna turn a little ledge on that. Like that. Bolt. You get the idea. Uh, on the easy track here, I can have it cut a circle, mill a circle. So what I will probably do is use this two inch cutter, it's a Mitsubishi, use that two inch cutter and then program it for a path right around the outside because I'm going to have a nut right here poking up. So what it'll do is it'll ask me, um, do a vent, mill circle, I could do an inside circle or an outside circle but then I just got to tell it to offset. So it runs around this right here and that two inch cutter will do that. So I'm going to mill that down. I'll get this set up, mill it down and two times, both pieces. And then when I get that second one uh, fixtured up, milled down, I'll come back to you and I'll show you uh, how I'm going to do the, uh, the bolt hole circle on this. And then after that's done on two pieces, I need to go over here to this. This is my 3 8 stock, so I'm going to saw a piece off of there and then cut two circles out of here and put the same diameter bolt hole circle on it to make some, some caps. So instead of having the C-clip retain the bearing, I'm going to have an aluminum 3 8 thick cap that's going to retain the bearing. And the only diameter I got to worry about is that diameter right there. So I'm thinking if I make the inner diameter just a little bit bigger than this diameter, we're going to get more wall thickness and thus it will be a little bit stronger. Some saw work here in a little bit. We've got some Something chrome. No, it's chrome. Ground it back right. Chrome. And the stainless. Got some 3 8 diameter holes to drill. I will probably set that up on Mr. Yang and have it working. There's seven of these and seven of these, so that's 14 pieces. It's worth my while to uh, go ahead and set that up. Got the uh, 
Got the long ways all cleaned up on the axles from yesterday. Not much to do. Um, chuck I got at the auction, I have to do some work on. There were some blocks welded to the um, original hard jaws. And I'm gonna chuck on a diameter plug, put it in the axle center and bore those two chunks off of there clean that up and have another usable four job um, but that's what I got to do let me get that set up over there on the mill and I will come back to you here in a minute okay to continue with this project you saw I got it strapped in I didn't really indicate it yet because all we're going to do is mill that that face down and then I will indicate the bore um, but what I did was I made a little sketch I always got a little have a little sketch there's my sketch these are gonna be the top plates not the scale and then um, we're gonna go down it looks like uh, 190 thousands on the face to take that overing groove out or that C clip groove out pardon me and uh, that's about it and then we're gonna put five on three and nine sixteenths um, 1032 so on the easy track the way we do that is we do um, I know it's messy we do a vent middle circle it's gonna oh I'm sorry hit the wrong one middle circle going to ask us some values um, I want to do a inside sure tool diameter 2.5 zero zero on the arc center Z minus you always have to put one in put a, a value in them the Z depth there's my radius I got a one inch approach allowance of zero feeding it 10 we could uh, we could slow that down to six and six and there we go. So what it's going to do, get your Z out of the way. Positions, start the spindle. We're going to come up, let's say, we're sitting at home Z right now. Let's just take 50 and see what happens. Uh, 30, 40, 50. There's 50. I've already set the stop. So, you get set up here and I'm going to take a cut. All I got to do basically right now is hit big G little low and it's going to go, go, go. Uh, I don't need any coolant. It's aluminum. And uh, there, there's the lead in. Sure hope it's tight. Go a lot faster. This is 50 to the path. I do not want to cut into that uh, that boss over there. over there. I don't want to cut that circle. But with the cast of material, yeah, I could go a lot faster. I'm going to put that back up to 10. And make sure I get that edge right there. Zip around there again. Turn the feed right up just a little bit. My head's nice and trimmed in. I, I ran my little 
Oh yeah, it's got a big old dingo right there. That's a big Probably didn't need that lead in, but that's all right. And you hit start, it returns to zero. So what I'm gonna do is do another 50. And do the same thing again, middle circle. Da -da 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 -da. Approach, that's fine. I'm gonna go to 10, 10, and start. right there so we'll go another 50 real quick hurry 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 it's gonna come around that corner and then come back I could be cranking the Z the whole time right now usually what I do is I crank the Z to the depth and then just let it run do a finish pass so there's the zero another 50 table, little circle, same, 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 here we go. You could just flat mill that off, it, it doesn't really matter, I could have just zigzag this across or ran a station pass, hit this, hit, still not understand. Oh yeah, it's cutting the... See now, I can get a measurement, a reading on that step right there. And take it right to where it was back. Matter of fact, after this cut, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put you in the hyperlapse. Oh, it's in the last pass. I sure appreciate y'all watching my channel. It's kind of cool. I think I'm going to hit 500 followers today. And it's all because of you there we go finishing that up I'll see you all in hyperlapse Okay, so hyperlapse that off of there. We're at the level now, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my bolt hole circle. It's just a matter of typing in bolt circle, bolt circle radius, X zero, Y zero, a Z depth, an A start, I'm gonna go zero, and the number of holes. And you push go. I usually just spot them the first time around, that way I can make sure that everything looks good. Which, it do. So this last one, I go ahead and send it. Get my, my Z depth set. About right. Type it in again real quick. Send them. Okay, my phone is ringing off the hook, so what I'm gonna do, there it is. Five little holes on a bolt pattern.
let me get the drill tap size tap drill size and then the tap and we'll get these tapped out and on to the next one So I looked it up and it's a uh, 832 number 29 drill, that guy right there. So we're going to drill him down. I've got a little line on the drill already. Don't need coolant for this. We will need some cutting oil for tapping. This casted material, it doesn't even, not even really get caught. I've got my stop set right there. I could zero the Z out and use it too, but nah, it's fine. And there we go. Five, 632 holes on a, what did I say? Four and nine sixteenths bolt hole diameter. And so now the bearing will seat in here. And then when I make this cap, the cap will sit over this and retain that bearing with some of those um, pan head Allens right there. Let me get that taken care of, and uh, I've got two of these to do, so I might just whip those out. You don't want to see me do things twice. Um, but I'll be back here in a minute. Probably will cut both of the lids at the same time, but I'll go ahead and get the second one of these knocked out, caught up to this point, get it tapped out. Uh, I just tap in the spindle right here, and uh, on this aluminum, I'll probably just power tap it shallow and then go back and uh, hand tap to depth but uh, hang on here just a minute I'll get that get that caught up all right I went ahead and got that other one caught up on the other side and I have selected my material and put it in the saw and that's about as big as my saw goes until you move this you move that jaw back that way if you really wanted to but I'm going to cut this this way, and then I'm going to cut it in the middle, and then I'm going to toe clamp on the outsides off the table a little bit, and then I'm going to run that same circuit. What all I need right here on these is a, uh, I need a hole in the middle to hold on to. Might as well make it the size, drill the five holes, and I can do the rest on the lane, but I gotta get this off this right here. Takes forever. I'll catch up back to you here in just a minute. Um, it's almost got about freezing today. This is a WF well saw. Good saw. Back in a minute. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm just going to catch y'all up. Um, it's about five, five fifteen. I got to go get the boy here at six and meet uh, meet the host. But I have to put those counter sinks in there for that uh, these guys and calculate a depth where obviously they're not going to you know stick out the top but we want to figure out how much they're going to stick out the bottom and for cutting something like this you can't use you can't use like a regular one of these it goes too deep chamfer gets too big you have to break out your tools of distinction I got this set at a I don't know garage sale it's like 20 bucks years ago but uh, 
the chattering is eliminated as it cuts like a drill. So there's one for each size and what it does is it actually counterbores two. Um, depends on how deep you want to go. But I will use these to make those deeper. That's just a spot drill. I went around once with these just to kind of see where I was at on my depth stop. I've got to go get the sun and uh, I just wanted to point out that you need to have tools of distinction. If you see a set like this, grab it up. Another one that I have that uh, I grabbed up at the same auction was a really nice set of uh, center punches and drive pin punches. If you have a chance to pick up a set of those, you might do that too. Um, this project's going to be on hold just for a little bit till tomorrow. Uh, I figured out how I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put this in the mill to indicate that. And I'm going to come in with a single point ground tool and go and be done with this. Call that guy with the scribbles. Um, we'll be back tomorrow to finish up our little flange plate. I'm going to call it axle flange plate. I think, I think that's what we got to do. Call it axle flange plate. And then Monday morning I get to play, um, carbide wrap, uh, milling product manager. I got a customer that, uh, he's using this cutter and I brought in this wicked, wicked negative cutting tangential Iskar super duty cutter that I don't know they're gonna let me shoot video in there but uh, what it does is it uh, it bevels plate and so I'm gonna go in with the uh, I got another cutter my Mitsubishi reps bringing some too but this is my uh, Healy Octo that uh, they require a 45 lead but they're using these and they get four edges. These are eight edges. And um, the new cutter that I brought in from Iskar with my contacts, uh, it has double-sided tangential. So it's a negative cut rather than a positive cut. But maybe Monday we'll do that. But probably tomorrow I'm going to wrap this up with the caps. And uh, these are tapped, uh, tapped them in the mill. All I probably have to do is just go to depth. But then um, that's about it today. Remember, if you have a chance to, always buy tools of distinction. We'll see y'all tomorrow.